an idea and I'ma put it to work and I'ma gauge my progress by the sign of the word. Now I ain't yet a success, but yes, the word that I stress. Cause by the time you hear the CD, count the steps that I've left. I'm passing all of you. Once again, back is the incredible. Good morning, everybody. Today is yet again another edition of Make It Happen Mondays. And I'm hoping that today you, you take this in. You utilize what it is that I told you, and you use today as the springboard to make the rest of this week exactly the way you need it to be in order to be effective, productive, happy, and successful, and you can carry this on throughout the rest of the week, right? And not only the rest of the week, but your entire lives, right? I'm here for you every Monday. Now, check this out. Today is a very special Make It Happen Mondays. It's a, last week, we had a, a, a Mother's Day special edition, right? This uh, Make It Happen Mondays is a special edition as well. It is a birthday edition, right? And and uh, the reason why it's a birthday edition is, yep, you guessed it. Today is my birthday, right? And uh, and also, right, uh, two days ago, Saturday was my wife's birthday. You know what I'm saying? Hers is on the 20th, mine is on the 22nd. So listen, this whole week, this whole month, actually, my my son's birthday is on the 6th. So this whole month. Is a fantastic month, man. It's the anniversary that God created. Three phenomenal, fantastic people, right? And I'm gonna throw somebody else in there. Even I always be talking about my family, my man, my mellow, my brother from another mother. Uh, his birthday was yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So listen, this this whole month is filled with, with with love and gratitude and all of that stuff, right? And like we talked in some other videos, you know, gratitude is the way to go. The more gracious that you can be over what it is that you have and where it is that you are. I'm telling you right now, that's the fastest way to success, right? And really, that, 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 that goes into how it is that we define success. Too many times we define success as money or a job or a car or, or a watch or something like that. You know what I'm saying? I'll tell you what, the way I, I'm, I'm, I am the most successful person that I could think of, right? And I, I, didn't, I didn't say that I'm the most paid person that I could think of. I didn't say that I got the nicest whip, right? I didn't say I'm walking around with all that drip. That's not what I'm saying, right? I'm just saying when I come home, I'm a rock star, you know? As you can tell by this fine piece of art behind me, <laughs> right? I'm at a hotel right now, you know what I'm saying? I actually had to travel for work. And it's my birthday, you know what I'm saying? But when I go home, whether it's my birthday or not, I think I told you already, I got all, well, I was going to say all three of my daughters, but I got my three kids. I got my son, my, my oldest daughter, and my middle daughter run up to the run up to the uh, uh, door and be like, Bobby, 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 you know what I'm saying? Yo, I tell you what, if that's not a marker of success, I don't know what is, right? Uh, but when when, when my, my wife be telling me, yo, you're the man. You know what I'm saying? You 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 did this. You you killed the game. You know what I'm saying? She uses her own words. You know what I'm saying? But she was like, listen, everybody be sitting here searching for somebody else to tell them, yo, yo, I'm the man. I'm the man. I'm the man. They be saying it to themselves and stuff. Listen, when your wife can, can walk up to you wholeheartedly and be like, babe, you're awesome, right? Or babe, you're 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 a phenomenal person. Man, I tell you, I have reached the mountaintops. You see what I'm saying? Because I listen, that you gotta look, you gotta look for markers of success in life. You know what I'm saying? And 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 them external markers, and obviously it's external, it's outside of me, right? But those are those are just affirm external affirmations from the ones who are closest to me. You know what I'm saying? Because too many times you be going out and you see people, and they, 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 they front and they giving you their representative. You know what I mean? They just want, they introducing you to the version of themselves that they want you to know, right? Uh, Instagram people, right? Even this right here, you know what I'm saying? People portray themselves as who it is they want you to see, right? You always see people's best moments on Instagram, you know what I'm saying? You got, they got Instagram models, right? You got girls making sure the lighting is right, doing all sorts of stuff, right? You know what I mean? So they can look their best. Uh, uh, um, people on vacations, they take you, you know, there was a story about a, a, a mom, right, who goes out there. She don't do nothing with her kids when she's at the beach. She's just sitting there, sitting there, looking at her phone, doing whatever, doing whatever. And then right before she leaves, she gets up. She takes all these, like, three, four, five pictures with her kids, messes with the filter, posts them, right? And then she puts, you know, oh, great day with my kids, played all day, exhausted, da, da, da. Really, she ain't do nothing with them, you know what I'm saying? But you wouldn't know that unless unless you were there, you know what I'm saying? Or, you, or yeah, basically, unless you was there. I was going to say unless you knew her, but she probably wouldn't let you know that either. You know what I'm saying? 
But on the face, and when you're looking on Instagram, when you're looking on Facebook, when you're looking on YouTube, all these other things, the only thing you see is her playing with her kids and everything is all good and fantastic. You know what I'm saying? That ain't what it is. You can't be looking for external uh, 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 affirmations, right? Unless it's with the ones who are closest to you. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I'm saying. When I come home with my wife like that, when I come home with my kids like that, listen, man, that's success, right? So there's a couple of things that I wanted to talk about today that I'm going to let y'all out, right? One is controlling your own destiny, okay? That's number one, controlling your own destiny. Too many people sit here and, and just like I said, you can't be focusing on our external affirmations. You can't sit there and say it's external forces that are stopping you, that are preventing you, that are slowing you down, that make it so that you can't do what it is that you want to do. The whole mantra is watch me make it happen, right? Watch me make it happen. It's not watch uh, 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 something else allow me to do it, right? That's not what it is. Regardless of the of the of the adversarial situation, regardless of uh, of, of of anything of the external forces that are preventing that that you feel are preventing you or that you feel are slowing you down. You are the master of your own destiny. And the faster you start to realize that, the more productive you're going to be. The faster you're going to get to wherever it is that you're looking to get to. Okay? You, we, we need to, to change our mindset, to change the paradigm of external forces controlling what we have. The most powerful thing that we have is our own mind. And if we change, if we change the game in our brain, then we can change our life as well. Whatever it is, we need to start taking accountability ourselves over everything it is that happens with us, with us, within us, and with us, right? It don't matter what it is. If you deal with a cop and he's racist as hell, it, it doesn't matter, right? Control yourself. You can control your situation, control your environment, okay? Listen, when I was younger, right, I found myself realizing that people would treat me different depending on what it was that I was wearing. Now, I didn't purposely change what I was wearing. It was just different dynamics. I lived in the same place, right? When I would walk around that place, when I would walk around my neighborhood, right, dressed the way I just normally dress, you know what I'm saying? Cop would roll by, I'd get, I'd get mean mugged, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they stop me, they check my stuff for no reason, you know what I'm saying? And that, man, I'm telling you that, that gets you, you know what I mean? Even you, I wasn't doing anything, I was walking, you know what I'm saying? And they would stop me, search me, whatever, whatever, right? I walk in the same neighborhood, right? But I end up getting a job where I had to wear a suit, right? I walk in the same neighborhood, same time frame, and I got a suit on, you know what I mean? They may look, slow up real quick, keep it moving, you know what I'm saying? Uh, sometimes they ask me what I'm doing there, hey, what, what are you doing in this area, things like that, you know what I'm saying? Uh, where are you going, where are you coming from, right? But I wouldn't get searched so much, you know what I'm saying? Uh, there was a certain level of, I don't know, respect that they was giving me because I was dressed a little bit differently, right? Third one, I told you, I'm prior service, right? When I was wearing, when I was wearing my uh, ACUs and I was walking around my ACUs, man, listen, they would slow up, but they wouldn't slow up for nothing else except to be like, you know what I'm saying? Or give me one of those or something like that. The thing is, is is that there are so many things that we can do to control our environment, to control the way we are viewed in our environment. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not necessarily telling you to go out and change your clothes. I'm not telling you, you know, definitely don't put on some ACUs if you ain't in the military. That's some Stolen Valor stuff right there. Do not go out there and be like, yo, Pablo told me to put on ACUs to change my environment. That is not what Pablo said, right? Um, but what I'm saying is, the point that I'm trying to make is there's certain things that you can do to change your environment, right? Is to change the way uh, 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 you're viewed in wherever it is, whatever situation it is you're trying to, you're trying to uh, uh, be accepted in or, or excel in, right? And I ain't talking about being fake either. You see what I'm saying? But uh, effective communication will help you out, right? If you're looking to be, if you're looking to move up in a certain field, right? Uh, nursing, law, uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chicken Manager. I don't care what it is, right? Conduct yourself differently. Conduct yourself differently from everybody else who ain't in the place where you want to be. You know what I'm saying? They say to dress the part that you want to be, not the part that you are. You know what I'm saying? Listen, well, I, I got this job one time, right? And when I walked in the first day, nobody told me what the dress code was. You know what I'm saying? They just said it was like, uh, I think it was a business casual, right? And I went in 
And I had a blazer on, right? I had a, a dress shirt underneath. I had some slacks. Now I came in with my Tim boots, right? But I'm telling you, I had some fresh pair of Tim boots, right? But I'm saying, I came in and people were like, yo, what, what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Listen. I'm dressing for the part that I want to be. Every job that I get, I was trying to be CEO. You know what I mean? And 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 that's it. I'm just trying to be the boss. I want to lead everybody. And not because I want to sit here and say I'm the boss, but I just feel like I got this internal uh, skill set to where I can lead people. You know what I'm saying? And, across, and, and as I've gone through time, I've taken leadership courses. I've, I've been in leadership roles. Listen, I'll tell you once, I'll tell you a thousand times, I've learned uh, uh, through a series of failures, right? But I've been able to fine tune things. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, my main point here in this part is you are the master of your destiny. Control it. We gotta change that mindset to let yourself understand that everything that happens can be controlled by you. Everything that happens within your life, all of your own actions can be controlled by you, right? If somebody does something disrespectful to you, it's your choice if you wanna be disrespected, if you wanna feel disrespected and then how it is that you react to that, right? Last story on this point, then I'll move on to the next one. When I was younger, you know what I'm saying? That people, they racial slurs all, all over the place, right? And when I was younger, people would say racial slur about Puerto Ricans, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, and I didn't like it. I'll tell you what, all you had to do was say it, pow, and you was catching it, right? Listen, I told you, my life was, it, my, my, my successful life, I, I got here, and I'm, and I'm continuing to, to be more successful through, through a series of failures. I failed and I'm sure I'm gonna fail again in the future, right? Differently though. Um, but they would, they would get it, they would, they would get it. And my father pulled me aside one time and he was like, listen, you are starting to let everybody know, you walking around showing everybody your button. And if anybody wants you to do something, they controlling you by just saying the word because all they're gonna do is press that button and they know exactly how Pablo's gonna react. And at first I was like, you darn right, they're gonna know how I'm gonna react because they're gonna feel it, you know what I mean? But I started to figure that out, is that people were actually controlling me by just saying the word. It was like Pavlov's dog, right? You know what I mean? It's funny how close that is to Pablo, right? Pablo, Pablo. <laughs> but he would ring a bell, right? And the dog would instantly start salivating, right? They would say a word and instantly I would jump up and we start getting to it. Man, that was powerful. I had to change my paradigm. That don't happen no more. I'll tell you right now, I'll be lying to you if I say it don't make me feel some kind of way. You know what I'm saying? But you ain't controlling me no more by saying a word, right? Be the master of your destiny. Number two, I think I said this before. My son, man, he's he he he's a he's a math genius, right? And here's the reason. Now listen, we we have some issues with math. I mean, we have some issues with reading, with science, with social studies. And to tell you the truth, I think it's just that the dude don't really want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but when he applies himself, whew, the dude got it. But specifically in math, right? You you I put a math problem in front of him, and this kid will take it. Take the pencil, take the paper, boop, 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 and he'll end up giving me giving me an answer, right? Now, after I pull out my calculator and I check to make sure it's right, 9.99999% of the time, it's, it's correct. It is correct. So I'm like, dang. But then I take it a step farther, and I say, hey, explain it to me. That's where the difficulty comes in, right? Now, perhaps it's that we need to focus a little bit more on, on his communication. But the way I look at it is, is that he's missing the process. He's missing the understanding of his process, right? And I don't want to, and maybe I'm getting a little too hard on him for, for being 13. Uh, happy birthday, because again, just turned 13 on the 6th, right? But maybe I'm being too hard on him, or I was being too hard on him for a 12-year-old, making him explain because what i would tell him is is i said if you can't explain it then you don't really understand it right and and i still mean that right but now i'm taking it away from my son i'm using that as a parallel analogy right is that you want to be able to explain what it is that you do documentation is key right because you're going through a process right now right I went through a process. I'm going through another process. I will be doing another process after I reach whatever it is that my, my short and medium term goals are with this, right? Um, but you need to document that process. 
Because after the success, after you reach any certain level of success, you either, you either need to, you know, pass that down or you just need to be able to explain it. You see what I'm saying? Otherwise, how did you really do it, right? You're really shooting in the dark because once you reach success, that, like I said, is that it's, it's done through a series of failures, you may lose that. If you know your process, you can replicate it and do it all over again. Learn to explain the math problem. And you know what the best way to be able to explain the math problem is? Is, is to write down your notes while you're doing the math problem. Write your steps down while you're doing the math problem. If you fail at something, if you if you go down the wrong path, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, right? If you do subtraction first, right? Do not do subtraction first. And you can even write, listen, I did subtraction on this day and that led me to the wrong answer. You see what I'm saying? Do not have a stained white t-shirt when I go to an interview, right? Uh, because I lost the interview for this reason, right? Uh, uh, when you say this story, uh, make sure you focus on these points when you're answering a question and you're answering the question through a story so that you can more in, in, involve whoever it is who's asking that question, right? Uh, try to focus on these points and, and, and draw the parallel to these skill sets, you know what I'm saying? And you can write that down. Um, and that way, once you reach whatever level of success it is that you were looking for in the first place, you can explain how you got there. You can explain the successes. You can explain the failures, right? Show your work. That's all. That's what I'm going to leave it at today, right? So those are the two points that we're talking about, okay? Be the master of your destiny. Own your stuff, all right? No one can control you. You are 100% control of yourself. And number two, show your work, all right? Listen, I hope that this motivated you. I hope that this inspired you. I hope that you're taking notes, right? Uh, share this with a friend. Let them know, right? Uh, uh, um, subscribe to it if you haven't already. Like it. Share it on whatever social platform it is that you're looking at this at, right? Let people know, okay? Have them join the movement, all right? This is information that we're putting out, and it's absolutely free. You see what I'm saying? It is absolutely free. I'm doing this because when I'm in motion, I'm focused. I'm really thought of my plans and the execution. You know this. Ain't no time to think about it. Only time to react. Your intuition under pressure weighing down on your back. I scribble thoughts in my palm. I see you when I get home. Organize my interview.